take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen We have just gotten unloaded Yes indeed Now we're just leaving our customer Pretty much in a brand new area up here There's, These are all new businesses up here Yes indeed they are So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over to uh, to the terminal for now and then I uh, will wait there and see uh, what dispatch has got to say, what kind of reload they want to give us and then uh, I think I know what kind of load it is and if it's the load that I'm thinking of then he'd probably want me to uh, drop this trailer at the terminal anyways and just bobtail over to our customer so if that's the case then uh i'll be better off the at the terminal meters. right turn right on wrangler road i'll probably wait there for a little bit and then uh and then uh continue on uh, with my journey i guess but i'm just looking at the uh beautiful view at the mountains in the background there and i'm thinking because I'm far away from the airport now because uh, this was actually about uh, 18 kilometers from the Husky where I was at earlier and the Husky is very close to the airport so uh, we're not allowed to fly any closer than 9 kilometers so that's you know we should be way up here in the distance and the terminal is only 3 kilometers down the road here so I might get my drone up in the air and try and get get a shot of them beautiful mountains overlooking there in the background. That might be awesome to look at, don't in you guys think? Meters, turn left on I think that's Avenue. exactly what we're going to do. As soon as we get to our terminal, I think I'm going to I'm going to do something. I'm going to fly my drone. I feel like doing that. Yeah. So let's make our way over to the terminal and let's go ahead and take care of business. I don't know how the camera is going to pick that up or how the camera is going to be able to see that or not but the sun is coming from there right now so it would be 200 meters. I think Turn a pretty good shot 61 Avenue. so we'll give it a try we'll give it a try
All right, guys, let's see if my APU unit will start. It's loading up. Yeah, probably. Oh, there we go. She runs like a charm. Nice. Yeah, I just finished fixing it. Yeah, it probably, probably will do that. Yeah, it's probably running out of fuel, right? Because uh, I took the fuel filter off and all that stuff. There was this little line right here as you might be able to see i don't know how good the camera is actually going to focus on it but the uh hoses actually was rubbed through maybe you can see it from this angle anyways the hose was rubbed through and it was starting to leak diesel fuel there so uh luckily i had a little hose like that with me let's give it a try see if she will run yeah there we go now she's running yeah look at that fixed it myself yeah that line was broke and i figured uh i would go ahead and uh repair replace that line since i got nothing to do over here anyways i'm just sitting there uh, i got a reload off already but it only picks up at 12 so uh i think it's like 10 30 right now or something like that so just finished flying my drone as you can see it's a beautiful day and i decided uh well let's have a look at uh, at that and see what's going on because i noticed that it was starting to leak fuel there so uh yeah so that's all it was it was that little line and that pays off you know to take those uh those little lines with you and also uh, uh let me see here pieces like this here at the end like that's usually all worn out when you take the line like this off and I had, luckily I had a little line like that. And I uh, remember a while back ago, I bought these kind of connectors and they pay off, man. It saved me once already. And this one, I mean, I could be without the APU unit, don't get me wrong, but you know, if I can fix it myself, a little piece like that, I feel proud, you know, that I can do it myself. And I got the time to do it right now, so why not, right? But anyways, we're gonna pack everything away. I got key uh, ra ranches over here and gloves and everything so i even have this thing here to take the uh fuel filter off so that way i could uh, have better access to the uh to the line there and i uh, had perfectly long enough length there for the uh line so i'm proud of myself to be able to fix it myself but anyways we'll go over to the husky and probably uh, wash up a little bit and have breakfast all right guys we have just picked up our reloaded trailer yeah now we're hammering down towards brandon manitoba yeah that's right we gotta be there by tomorrow by 12 at noon which that's a pretty good time we should be able to do that a okay i would think so anyways i think i had about 15 hours in the book left today so i think we will be a okay we can do a full day worth of driving yet if we want. I'm going to be able to, uh, well, I don't know if I'll get all the way to uh, my delivery, but uh, we'll get a good waste in, that's for sure. We'll see how far we make it. Well, guys, we got very nice sunshine this afternoon. Yeah, we're just giving her this afternoon. Well, we kind of have to, right? I mean, you know, we got a little little bit of time on this load, but uh, we are going to give her as much as we possibly can, and uh, and then we'll uh, be in uh, Brandon for tomorrow at lunchtime. Yes, we will be. Unless something else goes wrong, right? But uh, I, I am very happy that I fixed up my APU unit earlier. That put a big smile on my face. That makes me really happy. Now we're gonna go and uh, get a bunch of other stuff fixed on the truck there uh, on Thursday and uh, hopefully we'll be able to go out on Friday again. That would be kind of nice. Usually on Fridays they have pretty nice loads so it would be nice to uh, get a nice long, uh, long trip on Friday. So we'll see what happens but uh, I really hope for a good load. I need some good miles. I want to try and focus on uh, working hard 
and paying off my debt. That's been kind of my New Year's, uh, I don't, I don't want to say New Year's resolution, but uh, it's been my goal this year to start working on paying off my debt. I had so much repairs done on the truck last year, I put myself in debt a little bit because of that. Well, maybe a little bit is understatement, quite a bit actually. So I need to, uh, I need to tighten my belt a little bit and start working on paying off my debt. So that's kind of my goal right now is uh, working towards paying off the debt. And then uh, once I accomplish that, then I don't know, we'll see what happens then. But my goal right now, didn't really want to say it out loud, but my goal is to pay off my debt, sell the truck, and get out of long distance trucking. I don't know, I got a family and and I'm missing all the things that I could do at home with the family and have a normal lifestyle, you know, where I could be off every weekend or whatever, you know, have more of a normal eight to five type of job and be home with the family every day and if there is programs like from the church or any other programs that I want to attend I can never really do it you know because I can't really be there all the time you know like right now and if I had a steady job I could attend more programs and stuff like that so that's kind of my goal I, I used to work at Low and Windows for almost seven years I did night shift and uh, I basically worked four days a week. I started Monday at 4.30 in the afternoon and I was done Friday at 3 a.m. in the morning. So I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday all the way till the afternoon off, you know. And I really enjoyed it. I would still be there if the economy didn't crash and, you know, everything went downhill and that's why I got got out of there pretty much I saw what was happening my wife had already gotten laid off and and since she wasn't working anymore we were barely not able to really make our payments anymore so I had to find me something else that would pay a little bit better and this was the only other thing I could come up with and don't get me wrong I, I don't mind driving I, I enjoy driving uh, it's just I like to be around my family and you know, my son, he's, he's, he's almost grown already, you know, and I've been away from him now for eight years, you know. If I want to spend any kind of time with him, you know, the time is pretty much gone. I mean, in a few years, he's probably going to be leaving the house and probably going to be married or maybe just move out, whatever, right? And, uh, you know, then it'll be even less time that I'll spend with them then they'll be on their own. They don't want to spend time with you anymore, right? But yeah, that's kind of the deal that I want to do. I would really, uh, you know, be happy if I could do two more years of, of driving and then uh, have my debt paid enough to where I could get a regular job and still be okay, you know? If I could do that, I would be really super happy. So we'll see what we will do what we can do so anyways figure I'd talk about that a little bit well the day has come to an end again yes at least for us we went up here to Karen poor Saskatchewan and I called her quits I said yep I gotta spend the night somewhere anyways so I said you know what well may as well just spend it over here why drive super late right don't matter where I get to if I gotta stay till if I got to stay for a night, then may as well just take it off over here and get up early in the morning, right? So that's kind of what I decided on doing. So we still have about 460 kilometers to Brandon. So we're going to have to get up early tomorrow morning and get going ASAP. But uh, hey, we'll, I think we'll make it. As long as we don't have any breakdowns or anything go wrong, then we should be okay. So without further ado, we got to go to bed so we can get up early and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. We'll have another video again tomorrow. So I'll come back tomorrow and check out what we got going tomorrow. And if you like this video, rate it up, thumbs up.
subscribe if you haven't we would love to have you on board and follow our daily journey here on the trucker rudy show and share the videos so other people find out about my channel right so if you did all of them things we appreciate it thank you very much see you tomorrow <laughs>